Steam, with the latest update, have made something terrible. They deleted the way that we used to have to use the older user interface. But there is a new way how to do it. Now, before we start, as a disclaimer, watch the video until the end because I have important information about it. And second, with this way, you are not going to be able to update the Steam Launcher. You are going to be able to update your games, to access the cloud and everything else, but the Steam Launcher is not going to get any more updates. Now, let's begin with the tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you have Steam completely closed. So going to the right side, and if you have it open, you want to exit Steam completely. Once you have Steam completely closed, or you want to change the shortcut that you already have from Steam, or you want to create one new one, I'm going to be modifying one. You want to right click into the shortcut and click into properties. Once the property menu is open, here you want to paste what I have right here. It's also going to be in the description down below. So if you want to take it from there, select everything, right click into it, select copy. And now right here, make a space and paste everything. Now you want to click into apply and into OK. Now when you open Steam, it's going to download all the files from the old user interface from Steam once more in your PC. While Steam is doing that, what you want to do is to open your file explorer, go into the folder where you have Steam. In my case, I have it into the second drive. So you want to open it. You want to go into program files x86, Steam. And right here, you're going to see one file that is called steam.cfg. You have two options right now, to modify this one or to create one new one. To create one new one, you want to open your notepad and you want to copy and paste again what I'm going to let you in the description down below. Paste it right here. This is the Bootstrap Inhibit All Enable and Bootstrap for Self Update False. And you want to click into File, Save As. When this new window opens, where you see Save As Type, you want to change this from Text Document to All Files. And you want to select this right here and change the name to Steam.cfg. And you want to click into Save. Now you can close the notepad. When Steam is finished downloading, you want to take the steam.cfg file that we just created and you want to and you want to put it into the main folder of Steam. Once you have done that, you want to open once more the shortcut that you used with Steam, click into properties, and now you want to delete everything that we added before. Delete that, and now you want to paste another thing that I have right here. And this is the minus V G U I that we used to use before, as well as some other commands that this is going to not verify the files. So Steam is going to not check the files that you have. So it's not going to see that you are using the old user interface and it's not going to boot with an update. So it's not going to try to update that UI. Don't forget to let a space between this right here, because it's not, it's not going to work. Now you want to click into apply and then into OK. If you have Steam that run automatically when you launch your PC, you are also going to need to change this or disable it inside of the Steam software, or you're going to have to change it into the registry of Windows. To do that, you want to type regedit into the search bar, open the registry editor, and inside of here, you have to go to HKEY current user, software, scroll down until you find Microsoft, scroll once more down, until you see Windows and in their current version. Once more, scroll down until you see the folder of RON. Here you're going to find the auto RON from Steam. You want to right click into it, click into modify. And in here you want to copy and paste what we pasted also inside of the short. Click into OK and now close the registry editor. Now when you open Steam, as you can see, you're going to have once more the old UI from Steam. Thanks for watching, my friends. If you enjoyed the content, please, please don't forget to drop a like into the video and to share it with your friends. This really helps the channel out and subscribe for more content like this one. So guys, enjoy this and I don't know how long this is going to work. And let's hope that Steam doesn't patch this option as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys on the next time. Bye bye. Subscribe.